Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I will be drawing on the first page of a newly fresh sketchbook. Oh, I'm so excited to finally start a new sketchbook due to it being forever. It feels like to draw traditionally. I've never done a intro page to any of my sketchbooks before. I'll admit approaching it was really intimidating because it took a long time to come up with what I would draw there. I decided to play it safe and drew my Persona OC lying down, relaxing the music, and to keep the music theme, I drew a music play bar on the other side. So cute, right? And for the play bar, I thought it would be a perfect place to write the start and end date. I think I'll do the same for the last page or the intro, the outro page as well, but obviously have the time marker on the ending side of the bar. If you are interested in the materials that I am using for this piece, I'll have them listed down below. I'll even have the links to them so you can click and purchase them if you are interested. Um, the materials that I am using are the Microns ink pens from size 005 all the way to 12. <laughs> Um, the 12 I did use to outline the overall piece. Um, I even have the Raw Sushi Metallic Gold Pen. The Metallic Gold Pen I got from purchasing her latest coloring book, Color My Crown. That's the only way that you're going to get her pen. But yeah, I'll make sure to list everything down below. I love the cozy lo-fi aesthetic, so my thought process was trying to come up with something that I can see being a background image to a lo-fi or chill hop station video, like the ones you usually see here on YouTube. I personally do like those stations, and I turn them on every time when I want to, you know, wind down or get in the zone when I'm starting a new drawing. It's fun to imagine my art being the background illustration. This first page, you know, it's going to give me practice if I do want to pursue something like that in the future. Yeah, we're just going to have to see when that time comes. But I definitely want to do it. <laughs> like, can you imagine, um, like, some of my characters from Crow Friends or? some other characters that I may have just be, you know, amongst the background, um, even animated. Oh, that would be awesome. Now, I do have a lot of plans and expectations for this sketchbook. I do plan on doing more traditional drawings. And what I mean by that is, you know, just finished pieces, even if it's just lined with ink, but mostly I want them colored. I want this sketchbook to be more lively and vibrant. I also want to draw more fan art, more challenges such as to draw this new style challenges, the monthly challenges. For example, next month is February and next month's challenge is Very Feb. I've never participated in Very Feb so I'm very excited for that. 
I had participated in monthly challenges in the past. Um, a couple of them were Mermaid and Inktober. Fairy Feb is just one of them that I've never tried and I want to do more challenges I've never done before just to kind of keep things fresh, keep things going, make it more fun. Um, that's the whole point of the challenge, right? Is to challenge yourself, put you in something that you're not used to. So Fairy Feb, I think it will be very interesting. I am going to do Mermaid in Inktober this year. I also want to do a couple entries for Black History Month that's also happening next month of February. Um, you know, just to put my characters or my art in that specific space for people who um, do happen to like my art or do want to see more characters of color, I can put my characters in that space during that time of the month. So very excited for that. I think there's a couple of monthly challenges that are happening in the summer. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. I know for June, there's going to be, you know, a lot of people doing Juneteenth. I would definitely do an entry for that. But I don't know. I think there's something in September and July, but I'm not sure. I'm not completely sure, but hopefully I'll be able to find something and then dedicate time to participate in those monthly challenges in the summertime. I would just have to make sure that I space all these challenges out just so I don't get creative fatigue. <laughs> Look, creative fatigue is a real thing, okay? That's where art block comes in, that's where you get you know, really frustrated or impatient and stuff like that when you have so much on the list that you want to check off. That is definitely me. <laughs> I don't get art blocked very often, but I do get free. I do you know, get frustrated at my list of things that I want to create. It just, it just seems like it, there's not enough time in the world for me to finish all these things. I wish there was you know, more time in the day, but there's not. And I have to work with what I got. <laughs> but hopefully I can participate in all these challenges. Maybe not do the whole month but do like you know an entry a week or something i know a couple people have done that for mermaid and inktober definitely i've seen that i think i've done that once for mermaid if i'm not mistaken but that's probably what i'm gonna have to do with all of these challenges at least do one or two a week um i know that there will be a couple that i want to do the whole month for uh, fairy feb is one because i've again never done it before so i want to give my all towards that specific challenge what my expectations are is to grow more proud of my traditional drawings and my progression with improving in my craft i am going to really push myself and my boundaries. I find myself sticking to my comfort zone, but aspire, <laughs> I should say, aspire to create in areas outside of that. For example, sceneries, backgrounds, environments. I want to be a storyteller. I feel that building the world, your, building the world your characters would live and interact is a must to master. If not master, then just be able to execute. So that goal is super high on my list this year. I also want to get better at traditional mediums like watercolor, gouache, acrylic, you know I hate acrylic, alcohol markers, and color pencils. I'm more of a digital artist, so rendering pieces traditionally is a bit difficult for me, but I'm taking initiative to learn.
with the piece I'm working on, I'm using Prisma color pencils and Copic markers. I feel like I did a great job picking the colors, but getting comfortable with the application, knowing the technique that would give me that smooth blend that I'm looking for, I would have to work a bit harder on that. Um, I don't know, it's just towards the end, like the grass, the corners ended up being so blotchy, so kind of harsh. I was trying so hard to blend it out, but it's just, it just wasn't going. It was probably the quality of the paper itself, but still, like being able to know how to blend that out would have helped me in the long run. I was probably better off with just, you know, not using the darker markers and just use my um, blue indigo color pencil to create the shadow. I would have been better off with that, <laughs> to be honest with you. Now, if you are drawing along with this video, I am going to you know, stop here and let the music play so you can also chill out and you know, zone out with the music playing with me drawing um, in the background. So enjoy the music, chill, focus and I'll come back when I have more to say.
I think the main medium I would use in a sketchbook would be colored pencils just due to it being an easier medium to work with as an intro color as an intro to traditional coloring but I'm also wary of the paper the pages have texture but I'm just hoping they're not too thin for me to use you know a, you know alcohol markers or watercolor if I want to use watercolor in the future in the sketchbook I'm definitely going to do a couple testers when it does come to watercolor. I have a set of watercolor pencils that includes the brush that you can put water into just so it can be an easier way to introduce me to that before I go in with my actual watercolor paint. And when it comes to the paint, I am definitely excited to try that out. Again, I'm not sure. I'm really scared to use that medium in this sketchbook. I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> um, I'll definitely have to look around for some you know, paper protectors or even make my own um, paper protectives. So a lot of the water or moisture doesn't go onto the other pages under um, the page I'll be working on. So I'll keep you guys updated with that. And I can definitely make a video of me testing out watercolor in general. Like, I wanted to do a segment called Study Sundays, and I can include me doing studying the medium firsthand um, as a first time trier. If you're interested in that, comment down below and I'll keep you guys updated if I do end up doing that. <laughs> This has been so fun. I To spend the day at a cafe and draw was really relaxing and felt productive. I feel I'm so doing this in the future, just at a different cafe location. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content i hope you have a great day and i'll see you in the next one <laughs> bye